Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Today, I got my buddy, Max Burt. Max plays uh, with the Yankees, was drafted this past year. Um, and I get a ton of questions about draft day and what it's like to play in the minor leagues and travel and all that stuff, which I've answered in the past. But I haven't played now in a long time. This will be six years since I've been out of the game. Max is obviously just getting into it. So it'll be interesting to see how much stuff is the same, how much is different. So let's go through a bunch of stuff. What would you compare the talent level like? Like as a player coming from college, getting drafted and then going and playing in short season, what was the t did you get there and go, wow, these guys are really, really good? Did you get that? Like I've talked to guys that thought that. I've talked to guys that have been like, wow, this is – like, this isn't as good as I thought it was going to be. What what would you think talent level? How would you compare it to college baseball, what you were used to for four yeah, years? Yeah, I mean, I would say, I mean, obviously it's professional baseball and these kids are here for a reason. But right. um, talent, talent level, I think, obviously it's a little, like, the game's a little bit faster in right. pro ball than it is in college. Um, but, so I actually was grateful to play two summers down the Cape in Harwich. Yes. And I was playing with the best talent in the country. Right. And I think that league set me up kind of perfect for this first summer I was in, um, where I didn't feel overmatched at, at any time. Obviously, there's some pitchers, these young Latin pitchers that are up to like 100, 100 yeah, so they're letting it go. Um, but yeah, I, I would say in the league that I played in, it was more electric stuff, yes. guys that have great stuff that are kind of in the beginning stages of having command. Like someone could throw one, like literally hit you in the head. Someone could throw above <laughs> my head, they could throw over here, and then they could paint inside black. You right. know, so obviously the, the paint inside black is where they want that person to be, um, but they just aren't there yet. But um, That actually probably makes hitting pretty difficult when yeah, you're facing I mean, it's, a guy. It's, the... it's, I, think, I think the adjustment wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be right. just because I had that Cape experience um, under huge. my belt and those two summers under my belt. I so. thought the same thing playing in the Cape. It's like you play almost every guy. I mean, I don't know how many guys were drafted super high, but yeah. thinking back to my Cape League, like mm -hmm. Evan Longoria, Tim Lincecum, like so many of those guys became multi-year all-stars in yeah. the big leagues, like tons of them. Yeah, it's no, crazy. I mean, Daniel Bard, Andrew Miller. The like, two summers, ridiculous. the two summers, let's say there was 30 kids on my team throughout, throughout both summers, so yeah. 60 total. I think the number was like 53 kids drafted or really? 55 kids yeah, drafted. It's yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. So I can't say enough good things about that league and um, how that got me ready for professional baseball. That's a, that's a really cool point. Now that you're in the off season, do they, how like controlling are they? Do they say, we want you to do these exact workouts? Do they check in with you? Or is it kind of like, you're a big boy now, like get yourself ready for spring training, mm -hmm. however you want to, like, can you do whatever you want? Yeah. So we would have, I would have meetings with the strength coach, our actual strength coach and their head uh, coordinator. And I'd have I'd have a meeting with him right when I got there, like one in the middle of the season, and then kind of one before I went home. Yeah. And uh, he was just and we I just kind of sat down with him and we set some goals up of what the off season, uh, what he wanted to see from me coming Good. into spring training next year. Obviously, because you know this next year I'm about to play 140 games, hopefully. Yeah. Um, so 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 it's going to be a little <laughs> bit different than obviously the college season. Um, but yeah, no. So they they gave me a workout plan to kind of go by, and yep. um, you know I'm kind of doing doing that stuff, and then add my own stuff over at uh, Boyles. So oh good. Yeah, I'm working out with. Uh, Alright, so you got the some, Mike Boyle facility. That's awesome. Yeah, so so you don't have to like you won't have to check in with them. You won't have to like. Are they gonna call you? Yeah. So actually, funny you say that. They actually just called me this like uh, yesterday. Actually, really? Yeah. Just so to make sure everything. Just to, yeah, out. just to see just to see how things were going, and they were just kind of checking in. Thank you for watching. Share the video with all your friends. Subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. Check out this guy on Instagram. What's your Instagram? Max underscore Bert one. Max underscore Bert one. All right. Give him a follow too. Talk to you later.